All right, and we are doing a reaction video for the series premiere of Loki. Uh, the episode is called Glorious Purpose. I remember, I think we heard about a Loki series coming to Disney Plus before uh, Endgame, and I was thinking to myself, how is that going to happen? How are they going to make that possible? And then as soon as they had the scene uh, back in uh, 2012 with the uh, Stark Tower and him grabbing the cube, I was like, well, that's how they're going to do it. So uh, this should be good. I've seen, I've managed to avoid spoilers, but I have seen that there are a lot of people who are my friends who liked it, and I haven't seen any naysayers yet. So I'm very much looking forward uh, to this to see um, how it's going to go. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the show. On my way down to coordinate search and rescue. On, On my way, way down, down to coordinate, coordinate search, search and rescue. rescue. I mean, honestly. Bye-bye. Where's Loki? Nice. He still has the mouthpiece on. Hilarious. <clears throat> I am Loki of Asgard, and I am burdened with glorious purpose. <laughs> I... She missed this one. Hang on just a minute. Please sign to verify this is everything you've ever said. <laughs> what? Sign this too. Oh, this is absurd. Sign this too. <laughs> and this. This is better than falling down the hole infinitely for 30 minutes, right? Take a ticket. Ever <laughs> get your clock cleaned? <laughs> Whatever it was, stepping off your path created a nexus event, which left unchecked could branch off into oh, madness, like leading to another multiversal the way they the Sir? We yanked some great race in your place with me, Buckethead! We think I never- Ooh! Well, damn. Thanks for visiting the TVA! Don't hesitate to let us know how we're doing! I mean, couldn't Loki technically just bring them back to Stark Tower and fix everything that way? Because isn't that what they did? The hunter and his Minutemen responded to a routine next time stone. Event. It appears that when they arrived, to say, Capisa. How do you plead? <laughs> Madam, a god doesn't plead. <laughs> Look, this has been. Oh, really? And who should we have? I suspect the Avengers. You see, I only came into possession of the Tesseract because they traveled through time. No doubt, in a last-ditch effort to stave off my ascent to God King. That's quite an accusation. Oh, believe me, you can smell the cologne of two Tony Starks. <laughs> you speak of time criminals. It's they you should be after. Axe, Perhaps great. you could provide me with a... <laughs> what do you want from me? Well, let's start with a little cooperation. Not my forte. Really? Even when you're wooing someone powerful you intend to betray? Come on. Hmm. TVA, make sure of it. Where is he? Now, why don't you tell me 
Do you enjoy hurting people? I don't believe do you. Do you enjoy killing? I'll kill you. What, like you did your mother? Give me the Tesseract or I'll gut you like a fish, Casey. What's a fish? What's a fish? How do you not know what a fish is? I mean, I live my entire life behind a desk. But what difference does it make? I want to know exactly what I'm being threatened with before I comply. Death, Casey. Violent, painful death. Okay, yeah. Okay, I comply. Oh, you almost hit me. That's so messed up. Do not forgive you. And this guy kept saying he was gonna turn me into a fish, whatever that is. And then they show up and just prune my cart, so there was nothing I could have done. <laughs> hey, there you are. You know, that variant you had got away. I don't enjoy hurting people. I don't enjoy it. I do it because I have to, because I've had to. Okay, explain that to me. Because it's part of the illusion. It's the cruel, elaborate trick conjured by the weak to inspire fear. The desperate play for control. You do know yourself. You try to use that? Oh, several times. <laughs> Even an infinity stone is useless here. Fugitive variants been killing our Minutemen. And you need the god of mischief to help you stop them. That's right. Why me? The variant we're hunting is you. I beg your pardon? Time signature is early third millennium. Definitely anachronistic. Oil. I think some jackass found himself a time machine, came back here to get rich. Should we fan out and look for him, sir? Nah. It's not worth the paperwork. Just prune it, let's bail. Set a charge. Wait. Someone's out there. Check it out.
Alright, so that was episode one of Loki. Glorious Purpose. So, <laughs> it, it was a great first episode. I love how you have the dark aspects of it. You have him having to face his own reality of what he was to become, you know, had he not grabbed the Tesseract and split off his own timeline. Uh, I'm interested in how this is all going to play out simply because of the fact we know that the next Doctor Strange movie is going to be the multiverse of madness. So if the uh, these time gods are trying to keep the holy timeline in, in place and just keep this one timeline in place, uh, if there's going to be a multiverse of madness, that to me says that things probably go horribly wrong uh, in the show. Now, of course, with Loki, you expect things to go horribly wrong and then maybe made right at some point, but maybe this creates the multiverse of madness that then has to be dealt with uh, in the future. And that's maybe that this is just going to explain why uh, the multiverse is going to exist. Maybe why you get all versions of Spider-Man coming up in the future in some of the Spider-Man, the upcoming Spider-Man movies, why you get potentially other uh, people coming in. Maybe it explains how you get the X-Men into this system or what have you. So uh, that's what's, I think, really ultimately going to be great about this series is that you're going to, it's going to be a great setup for everything, but it's also because Tom Hiddleston is such a good actor uh, Loki is such a great character. Uh, I really like the play between Owen Wilson uh, and Tom Hiddleston. I, I like how you know he he knows what he has to do. Owen Wilson does, but he's also kind of a fan uh, of Loki. He kind of studied up on him, I guess. He's a, he's a Loki expert, uh, kind of Loki expert, if you will. Um, you know, great you know comedic bits in there as well. The whole DB Cooper thing, hilarious. Um, you know. Anyway, so I'm very much looking forward, for looking forward to uh, episode two. And uh, if you like this video, please remember to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, you have a good rest of your day.